My name is Kapil Dheeman. I'm the co-founder and CEO of uh, Meta Studios. Uh, we are a metaverse and game development company with three focuses. Uh, one is we work with brands and consultants across the globe to build immersive experiences for them across verticals. Uh, we build games for our, uh, for our clients and we are building our in-house IPs as well. The second vertical is specifically focused towards educational games. Uh, we are building an edutainment platform for kids of 6 to 14 years of age and uh, we'll be launching that globally. And third is a, is a new uh, vertical that we have picked up around generative AI. Uh, building a companion uh, powered by massive amount of data humanized for the metaverse and gaming industry. So these three are our, are our focuses and uh, we are uh, fortunate to have an amazing uh, set of team members who are spread across the country and some members are across the globe as well who help us build in this. In the first one in uh, uh, metaverse and game development, so I have been fortunate to be a part of this ecosystem since like literally since day one, where people were asking, okay, what is Web3, what is metaverse? And starting that journey from there till now where uh, people have got the basic understanding, uh, but now the questions have become much more, uh, much, much more matured around what does it mean for me? Okay, I understand what you're gonna do, but what is it that I'm gonna get out of it? What is my ROI? So the development has become much more targeted to solve a particular issue, not just uh, to be cool about it. Uh, that's what I really like about uh, uh, having targeted discussions uh, with, uh, with CXOs across industry verticals, whether it is a pharma client or whether it is an indie developer. They are really focused about now solving a particular problem and using this immersive experience technologies towards that. So that's number one. I'm seeing a lot of maturity, which is now coming in. Uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the immersive experience development space. In the game development as well, now more and more people have started, become, uh, started becoming interested about the technology and the features that Web3 offers. So uh, I, I'm, I'm in the board of advisors of uh, more than seven startups now and all are focused, they started focusing on Web2 games and now really studying and getting aggressive into what Web3 elements do we need to bring in because that provides them independence, that provides them a different channel to reach their consumers. And uh, uh, that is something I really love. So even in Web3 Gaming, you know, you will see two, side, uh, two, sets of, uh, uh, two sets of groups. Number one is who will come on the table and be like, I'm gonna be, uh, bring, uh, build a Web3 game and start with that. And the second is who's gonna be like, no, wait, let me take it gradually. I'll find what are the best pieces of Web3 technology that I should implement uh, in Web2 games and then go from there. And uh, these are the two sects which are developing in the gaming world now. And uh, uh, both are interesting. Both have its pros and cons. Uh, both have its own journey. So uh, yeah, we see, you know, uh, uh, which one goes in mid direction. Time is to say about that. Uh, but we are in a very good, uh, we are in a very good time is what I see. Uh, we are leading the wave of this innovation. India is at the forefront. Uh, we are seeing a lot of passionate developers, uh, uh, as you can see in the conference today. Uh, amazing, amazing job done by Entrepreneur by bringing all of these developers, the industry leaders together to have a dialogue and build something together in collaboration, which is the ethos of it.